Hey everybody, welcome back. So, in this playthrough, I have Wendy and Michael. Uh, so I've pretty much gone through already and done most everything. Uh, the only, I, I mean, I haven't done anything that I haven't shown off before, so things like, um, use manuscript and desk now or typewriter now if you remember Wendy's the writer so she should be able to improve this ah that's much better okay so now we can also use the um do I have it of course you have it envelope there it is use envelope with scene oh this is the scene where he he wanted to talk to her yeah i went i i think we did i did this in like 25 minutes so we're probably gonna see a few scenes we've already seen all right so now we're gonna type the publisher's address on the envelope and then use manuscript in envelope now we need to use uh, stamps on. I like how the, the the adjective or whatever it is keeps changing because before it was use manuscript in. Now it's use stamps on. Why don't I, how does it know I want to use it on something? It's almost like it's a hint. Okay, so now we have the manuscript. Let's go ahead and get that mailed off. I didn't pick up everything either, I only picked up stuff I actually needed, so I'm not carrying around stuff like weak old roasts and turkeys and stuff. But I like the rotten turkey. I'm sad there's no rotten turkey. Oh, I'm sorry. I can go get it if you want. Thanks I wonder what happens if you put it in the microwave, actually. I wonder if it improves it in. Oh, golly. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I don't know what my favorite holiday is. My birthday actually lands the day before Thanksgiving this year. Ah. Uh. Open, open door, open the box. Use envelope with mailbox. Pull flag. Okay. So now we need to go to Michael. So like I mentioned, uh, Michael's the film dude. So I actually have the package here, and I have not given it to Weird Ed yet. Let's go ahead and go give it to him. And I also meant to mention that this time around, instead of picking up the package and then taking the stamps off, I actually took the stamps off. You can click the stamps before you pick up the package. I actually had enough time to do it this time. Hmm. I don't usually, because I'm like trying to hurry. Give package to Weird Ed. Oh, my commando package! Now you have to find my plans. Okay, now that he says it, I'm pretty sure now the roll of film is going to show up. Because I think you have to wait for him to say that before the roll of film will show up. I don't know you guys have already seen me giving him the package, but um, I kind of have to spend time waiting for the the thing to come anyway, so... The thing. The, the um, manuscript contract, the writing contract, or whatever. So we sent off the Meteor's Memoirs to a publishing company. I need to make sure I can hear the doorbell. Alrighty. Open front door. It's already open. What am I doing? Ah, there it is. Get roll of film. I mean, I know Wendy's standing right there and she could have gotten it, but she can't do anything with it anyway, so I might as well just have Michael walk all the way down there and get it. Exactly. Alrighty. So now we get to go use that development developing room. Have to use that jar of developer. <laughs> yeah. uh, developing fluid, yeah. I almost said closed door. It's already closed. Um, let's see. Oh no! The red light, there it is. Okay. 
me actually save state just in case. Because it's been a long time since I've done this. In fact, I think I only did this successfully when I was a kid, like, once. Okay, so now we filled the developer tray full of fluid. And did he just turn the thing off automatically? I didn't do that. So use roll of... F oh! Oh, I wonder if this was, um... I wonder if the power just got turned off. Oh, that makes sense. For the five minutes? Yeah, that's funny. Hmm... Ugh. I gotta wait. We can watch Ghost Michael. Woo! So, what was that? Where did he go? You showed me that iOS game a while back, Drive Ahead. <laughs> yes. You, yeah, you remember that one? For people who haven't yes, played it, still play it. For people who have not heard of or seen this game before, the premise of the game is that like it's basically a round based game and each round lasts like anywhere from like five seconds to about like 30 seconds but basically you're driving a car and you're trying to ram the head of the person driving the other car and they're they have like a little bobble head sticking out and it's like all pixely graphic type of thing anyway it's just ridiculous like it's super frenetic fast moving stuff and the levels are hilarious and anyway I had a, oh so they added the halloween pack stuff and they have now a ghost car in the game and I so you seen it yet. And so it's like this like translucent car that you can see barely, and you're like, great. Oh. Marquis here. Oh, a manuscript! Let's see! Wow! This is hot stuff! It will sell millions, maybe even billions! I'm going to make Mr. Meteor a million dollar offer! Parents barking in his sleep. <laughs> awesome. Can I turn on the light now? No. I don't actually know if it's gonna turn back on on its own or not. I actually didn't notice this. I went to switch to Wendy just to, to do something, and the envelope was actually gone out of the mail. I have to give it credit. That was a, a nice touch. Hmm. <laughs> it looks headless when I did that. Oh no, it's the headless boy! Come on, game. I can't believe this happened, like, right when I started recording. This is silly. What did we do last time? The last... The last time... The last, 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 last... last power went out. I don't know I what think we were doing. Uh, we were doing a lot of stuff outside, maybe? With, like, the pool or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Cause, like, I don't remember this being such a butt last time. I guess while we're waiting, I should show you can turn off the CD player. Yeah, I see the sound turns off. The music, I guess. Turn it back on. I wonder how we don't have a meltdown when he turns off the power. I wonder if the mailman will actually walk up and deliver the package, or if it just appears, or what. That'd be interesting to find out. Can I pull the flag when there's nothing in there? Oh, I can. Ooh. So that kind of reminds me of... It, you never played Majora's Mask, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. I was gonna say, I spent a load of time in Majora's Mask, like, just, like, looking at mailboxes, waiting for, like, the mail guy to come around and do his route. <laughs> because, like, if you, again, if you haven't played that game, the whole game is scripted, and so all the characters in the entire game follow routes for, like, the three days that keep cycling over and over and over again, again in the game. Yeah, I and, didn't know that. Yeah, and so you're you're trying to figure out what their what their patterns are, where they're going to be at different times, so that you can take advantage of their presence at different places or their absence at different places. Um, so, like, if you know they're going to be at the ranch, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to the ranch at that point and do the mini games there. That way, I can earn the mask that lets me do something, that lets me do this, that lets me do that. So, anyway, I just remember like following that mail guy around nonstop, <laughs> and then I eventually figured out you couldn't follow him too closely because, like, there was like a secret something you had to do at some point and if you were too close you'd be like oh there's somebody following me or 
<laughs> Some, something <laughs> like that. Mail not li- deliver mail if someone's following him. Well, it was like, was it the mail guy? Some somebody wouldn't show up if you were following them too closely. Basically, like there was some so random. Yeah, it was just like it. It took me forever to figure this out. I was determined not to use an FAQ on that game, and I managed to get all the masks on my own with no FAQs whatsoever. And I was so proud of myself. It only took eighty hours. <laughs> But it was, it's my number two, fa- or number three game of all time now, I think. So, totally worth it. Did not get all the hard pieces, though. I think I was missing, like, three hard pieces at the end. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. What if I just... I'm sorry, I, I can't keep us entertained forever. I can only, I can only handle it for so long. Is he literally going to be doing this for five minutes? I might just cut this out. What? So, then nobody would listen to your Majora's Mask commentary. My Majora's Mask commentary. So what we should do is just have the lights come back on and be like, and so that was my incredible day. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So turn on enlarger. Actually, you should really cut it that way. Use enlarger. Okay, I can't remember how to do this. Use roll of film... And enlarger. Use. No, not close. Oh, put control film and developer tray. There we go. Closes the door and turns the lights off, I think. Okay, so now he's gonna work on developing the photos for the plants, I guess. I don't know why, but for some reason, like at a right angle, the correct angle, he looks like he's um, wearing like a Star Trek uniform or something. Did I mess that up? Kind of, yeah. Use developer tray with larger. I don't remember how to do this. look this up. I knew I had forgotten how to do this. Perfect. Get developer tray. I know they are, but I can't remember how to do this. <laughs> Alright. This is embarrassing, but I have to look this up. Oh no. I know. See, I have a walkthrough with me. I thought that. Urgh. Maybe I just screwed up because I have to turn the light off. I don't know. Let me see. Do 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 do. do. Um. Take the film and developing fluid to the. Dark room. Put developing fluid in the tray. Then use the film on. I did that. Is it because I don't have? Because I had the light on? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Turn off red light. Use roll of film in developer tray. Perfect. Okay, now what do I do? I don't understand, like... Can I open the enlarger? Can I get the enlarger? Can I turn on the enlarger? Fine, I'll just go give him the roll of film, see what he says about that. some reason I thought we actually got photographs but I guess I'm just crazy so uh which door was he in I'm guessing the open door here we go give 
Little film to Weird Ed. Oh, okay. I developed. Yes, I did, I guess. Okay, for some reason I thought I actually got photographs from that. I guess that was just a waste of time. Meet me in the lab in 10 minutes. Oh, crud. Um. Oh, good. Now we got the contract. Okay. So now we just need to go get caught. Go down the dungeon. Now I'm feeling really silly that I developed the film like three times because I thought it would like give us actual photographs or something. I don't know. I guess I should also mention earlier when I cut that scene when I was frustrated it showed uh, Dr. Fred trying to play the game but it didn't work because I never actually fixed the wires in this version. He goes, oh the power must be out. Really? Yeah. It's kind of nice though that you put that detail in. Yeah, he couldn't play the game because I never fixed the wires here. So, uh, in theory, since I didn't do any of that stuff, the combination should still be zero, 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 zero. And if it's not, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> Is it because Wendy, like, the only one wearing sneakers? Looks like everyone else is wearing, like, nice shoes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, though. But, yeah, I think you're right. Use glowing key and dot padlock. Open outer door. Open inner door. I can't reach it. Oh no. Well, we're about to find out. Actually, I believe if I give him the contract, it'll also work. But, uh, oh. Oh, okay. I guess I really. Do I really have to wait 10 minutes? Maybe? It's ridiculous. Well, I guess it's. Kill time, I might as well just reopen the door. Hey, Dave. It'd be funny if Weird Ed showed up as I'm trying to reopen the door. Use. No, not water faucet handle. Yes, yeah, shove the water faucet handle in it. <laughs> Use it as a lock pick. You've been watching way too much HGTV. I don't want to open the padlock. Actually, I haven't watched any TV in a really long time. I've been watching a lot mm. of Netflix and YouTube. And DVDs. Well, yeah. So we we pre-ordered one of the new Apple TVs that came out this oh, week. yeah? Yeah, it hasn't arrived yet. It's not going to arrive until like Monday or so. But it has apps now. Ooh. Yay! What apps are you going to put but on it? But apparently the new one... I don't know. I'll have to see what's available. They the apps only just the the app store only went live today, I think, for it, and I don't actually even know if I can access it via like iTunes or anything. So I haven't looked at what's available, but um, no, it had a couple of features that looked nice, looked like an upgrade over the Apple TV I already have. Um, so I have like the old third generation one, and this new thing besides running apps can do like Siri and. Siri can do all sorts of cool things like within the apps and can search across different apps. So like you can have Netflix and Amazon and who or not Amazon, <laughs> but a couple, yeah, Amazon, not that one. Maybe later, but anyway. But it can do searches across them. So you can be like, I want to watch you know Skyfall or something, yeah. and it can find where Skyfall is available between like iTunes and Netflix and Hulu and whatever else. So that alone is kind of like one of those. Yes, thank you. I've been looking for a feature <laughs> like that. Plus, this one apparently, I guess Plex is coming out for this one officially. I don't know what that is. Um, Plex is a media server, basically. So, I've I've ripped all of my discs, all my Blu-rays and DVDs uh -huh. and stuff. And so right now I have them all on iTunes, which is nice, but it only works in the house. It'd be nice, like if I was on the road, if I could take stuff with me, yeah. you know. Uh, or if there's some easy way to do it. Well, Plex media server um, can actually let you do that I can't a lot more easily. They have depending that much on how hard you have drive space for that many movies and DVDs and stuff. 
I don't have. Oh, okay. I was collection. gonna say because my collection is really big, so I was like, oh my gosh, it'd be like terabytes worth of stuff. Well, it is terabytes, but um, but I mean, I have like a a, t a single two terabyte drive that's more than enough to hold all of it. And plus, when I ripped it all, I, I more encoded than it. In terabytes. Well, it's like one point something. Oh, okay, now we're getting into fractions. So, okay. <laughs> I, like, I guess it doesn't have to be a whole terabyte to be a plural. Like, if you had two half pies, yeah, I guess you would say two half pies, even though technically the two halves would be equal to one pie. Well, and even if it's a fraction, you usually use a plural as well. Like, you'd say like 0.8 terabytes. You wouldn't say 0.8 terabyte. But it's only part of a terabyte. I'm not saying it makes any sense. I'm just saying that's what the convention is in so English. So if you have one of something, it's singular, but... Any other number, it's plural, even if it's less than one. <laughs> yes. I never really thought about that before. <laughs> oh, I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm looking at... You, you know uh, me. I, I, I think way too much. Subject back to Maniac Mansion. I was sitting here looking at this picture. What? And I guess it almost seems accurate because you have the main floor... The first, that, that, that middle floor with the arts and crafts, the second floor hallway, and then the third floor hallway, and then the observatory up there, and then underneath it we have the dungeon, the basement, and possibly the, the place with all the pipes. That almost, yeah, that's pretty accurate actually, except for the three, or the, the five floating lines in the space there, I don't, I don't know what that is, so. Well, that's the secret room. Oh. I like how Purple Tentacle doesn't seem to care that we're standing in the doorway. I guess he can't see us. Well, no, you're not actually in the room yet, so you're still outside the room. He, you open up the door, basically, but because of the angle, we can see, like, the audience can see you from this angle, but Purple Tentacle, he's got, like, the, like a tight angle, uh, so he can't see what's going on I outside the door. he can't really smell either. He couldn't smell us because he doesn't have a nose, I'm guessing. And I guess he has to have ears, so I guess if, as long as we don't move, he won't hear us. Does he have ears, or does he just have like the ability to, to detect vibrations? If he does, I'm impressed that he can detect vibrations from people talking. Can he? I mean, has he actually yeah. responded to anything you've said? But, purple tentacle? Yeah, because Dr. Fred's like, Purple tentacle, go fix the, the, the pipes. And he's like, yes, sir. Oh, wait. Well, no, no, no. See, that's Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred has psychic powers. He doesn't. Well, thanks to the well, meteor, he Green does. Tentacle. Green tentacle was talking to him. Well, yeah, but Green Tentacle can talk to you easily enough. I mean, uh, come on, that's Green Tentacle. Don't be silly. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing that Weird Ed will be able to talk to him. I guess we'll find out if Weird ever, ever freaking shows up. <laughs> My viewers are probably going to hate me after this video. All we did was read around for 20 minutes doing nothing. It could be like her, her crappiness of that one episode. What did she she said she she made a total failure video in King's Quest Six and she's like minus fifty well, no what did she say she said it was just she, she said that everyone was upset with her and then she made this funny voice and she's like unsubscribe it was funny yeah she was trying to record something in King's Quest Six but had forgotten that this event only occurs if you don't have the item you need and she actually had it with her so she'd forgotten that and she stood around for literally the entire like 10 minute video waiting for something to happen it was pretty funny i love king's close six yeah i think i've heard of it <laughs> may I, I may have like watched the thumbnail for yeah, a video once for Yeah, you need to play that one. You can skip all the other King's Quests and get away with it, but 6 was so good. It's like, the Quest for Glory yeah. series, my favorite, still the first one. Although I still call it Hero's Quest. So, sorry, just thinking about, like, favorite video games and stuff. Um, so I backed a Kickstarter a while back for a game called Abduction. Spelled with an O. Okay. Step an A for Abduction. Anyway, it's by Cyan. The people who made Mist and Riven and Uru and like some of my other favorite games of all time, although I've never actually played Uru. Anyway, like many a Kickstarter project, it's been delayed. Yeah, I'm sure. And so, like, the fans were starting to get upset, so they were like, they were kind of getting like unruly in the comments on Kickstarter. And so, one of the guys who's like a big guy at their company, uh, Richard Watson, he posts there and he's like, just in like, he didn't post like an official update, he just like responded to some of these people who were like getting really rude. 
and he's like, okay, you've been asking what we've been so busy with? Here. And so he linked them to like a personal blog entry. Turns out he had had brain surgery. He had a brain tumor. And he was at a com like he's like their lead guy, and he was at a commission for like three months. Aww, I hope he's okay. And yeah, apparently he's doing okay now. But it was just like one of those things where it's like, okay, yeah, that's a legitimate excuse if I've ever yeah. heard one. Like he posted like pictures of the pr like he didn't have pictures of the procedure, but he had pictures of before and after of like the MRI scans. Like he had it all. And it was just like... I bet those people felt bad. Okay, yeah. I sure hope they did. I mean, that was one of those, come on, people. He does not deserve this. Like, And he didn't to begin no. with. And after he posted that, I was just like, okay, yeah, seriously, people. Just everyone's so rude like, because these I've, days. Well, everybody kind of has a sense of entitlement. And, and I get where they're coming from, too, because the game was originally projected to come out this month. And so, like, they did... Like, they missed their campaign promise. And they've not been great about doing updates in the last few months. But, to be fair, they also had this yeah. going on. And and since then, there's been a couple more things they've talked about. And they're like, we also had these other things going on. So, you know, I get it. And it's Kickstarter. So stuff goes on every time. Oh, I'm hidden. Where am I? Ooh. I bike to Kickstarter. It was for Hearthstone. And uh, I'm waiting for it to go into beta because my sister's been playing alpha and she's like, yeah, they have all these problems. I'm like, you know what? After doing Starbound beta and it's still in beta after all this time, I was like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's frustrating. You know, it's like I'm just, I do enough testing at work that I don't really want to test in my spare time. <laughs> mm hmm All right, Weird Ed. Has it been ten minutes yet? Because I'm hungry. I want a cookie. No helper, I'll get a cookie after the video. I think he was getting up to get me the cookie, so... <laughs> I feel kind of bad if he actually got it, because I don't really want to, like, eat a cookie when I'm recording, because then you'll have to listen to me eating the cookie. Wendy! Byron! You gonna come join me, buddy? You gonna grump at me? So I... I used to run the sound system at church. Trust me, there's a relevance oh, okay. to this. I, I, I was going to say, why I'll are you this? I'll bring this back around. This? I'll bring this back around, don't you worry. So, um, so, as many people are aware, there's this thing called communion at church where people eat bread and drink a cup of... Anyways, when I was a kid, I, I was actually on sound duty back then. And the pastor would be up front doing the communion and, you know, he'd eat the bread and drink the, drink the cup of stuff. Anyway, while he's doing this, I would always have to mute him because if you didn't mute him the sound of him swallowing would come through on the speakers that's awesome depending on where he had his microphone placed and so i used to always get a laugh out of it uh, just that that was going on and i was like man you just don't realize things like this are even happening when you're sitting out there sometimes we actually had a discussion about that during your wedding the communion thing hmm? we had a uh -huh. discussion about that during your wedding <laughs> We were trying to figure out your, like, during the wedding, you know, you have those uh, brochures, uh, like, the thing that, that, that tells you the events that are going to happen, we were trying to figure it out. Yeah, so, uh, let's see here. I, I actually did those, the, what do we call the yes. programs. <laughs> That's the word. Um, so I actually made the wedding programs for our wedding myself. Um came up with my own template and everything because we looked online at all the different templates and we we're like this is stupid like they're they're charging money for them and they're not that good and so we were like let's just do our own so we did our own made it a nice minimalistic thing uh discovered that if the program has any color in it whatsoever and you want to use the color printers at office max they charge you the color printer rate no matter how much color is actually on the page so we literally i think had an ampersand that was colored <laughs> And I think we had a border around the edge of this, like a one pixel border around the edge of each page. And so that jacked the price up by a dollar per program Jeez. that we printed out, I think. <laughs> so that was like plus $100 right there. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, had to figure out how to make all that stuff get into the, get into the bulletin. It was kind of like, okay, these are all very dissimilar things. How are you supposed to make them look well, right? I tell you played the, the song from Civilization for at the end. I was like, yay, video games! I gotta laugh at it. Okay, so, yeah, so we, we played, the name of the song, for those of you who haven't heard it, it's Baba Yetu. Um, 
anyway, yeah, it was the Civilization Four theme song. I think it won a Grammy, yeah. actually. Um, anyway, I had played it for my wife at some point before we got married. It just as like a, here's the sort of music I listen to or something. It was something from my iTunes library. Anyway, so she actually liked it. It was one of the few things that she actually liked from my library. And, um, and so when we were searching high and low for music, she was like, hey, what about that one that you had for me? And I was like, Baba Yetu? She's like, yeah, that one. And I'm like, you can't be serious. Like, it's video game music. And she's like, no, no, I, re I really liked it. I'm like, mind you, my wife is not a video gamer, so it, it shocked me to say the least. I was actually like, you sure you don't want like some classical piece or something? You know, I don't know, Bach or something like that? Or Mendelssohn? Or I don't know, something else? Anything else? Oh my gosh, has it been ten minutes <laughs> She wanted yet? it, though. I know, I'm boring. No, it's I'm just sorry. A, I feel so bad for my viewers because... It's just been so much waiting around, and it's just like, we're not doing anything. This is like Monster Rancher all over again. I suspect that we'll put a little thing in I'll the uh, in the video like 10 minutes earlier and be like, you can yeah, jump I'm, forward I'm to this time stamp. I'm going to put that in the comments, that way people can just skip forward when he shows up. So. Well, for those of you who stuck it out, <laughs> we appreciate you. And to show our appreciation, Spappy's going to give each of you guys $10. Let me get the president's address, just send a letter to him and ask for $10. <laughs> yeah. Care of President <laughs> Barack Obama. Whoever's president at the time you watch this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good I have, I actually, it was so funny. I've had a couple people going back and re-watching some, or I guess watching for the first time my Sweet It In 2 LP, which made me go back and watch some of it. Actually, I haven't watched it in forever. Oh, no. But somebody made a comment back in Necklord's Castle in 2 about those two secret rooms and they're like, I played this 20 times and didn't know that was there. I'm like, that's what makes this game great, is you can still find stuff after 20 playthroughs. It's like me playing with the, the elevator engineer <laughs> and finding out that he's terrible as a fighter. <laughs> I was worried you were gonna say like, yeah, we were making like pop culture references and we were like, yeah, go so and so and then like that person just failed or something or bombed or... No, it's just, it, it, it's Man. funny that, you know, how many years ago did we record that? Like, five? Oh, yeah, three or five. Because I was, like, looking at the... I was looking at just the audio files I have. And let's see here. You right now, this folder goes back to... your voice at the same time on those. Yeah, that, that was back when we were recording on Skype directly instead of me recording yeah, separately. that was awful back in the day. Like, when Skype would just cut out in the middle yeah. of the video, I'm like, oh, boy. Uh, let's see here. I have... I. I think this is our first Monster Rancher 4 recording. Yeah, we already talked about how long ago that was. That's June, July of last year, of 2014. I'm actually going to put an update video probably in a couple days, um, talking about my, my upcoming video schedule. It's not going to be a good one, but I have a lot coming up, and with all of my work travel and vacation travel and possibly moving, um, it's gonna. it might be a while before I really get back into it. Well, the the good news, folks, is that we are planning to do Monster Rancher no, Two, but not. the bad news is it, it 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 will be the first one to get cut if if uh, Smappy gets busy here. So <laughs> if I end up moving, um, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, if Smappy moves, or if work gets busy, or if she has to travel at all, we're not gonna be able to do Monster Rancher Two. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm wondering if it's if I'm doing something really ridiculous. If I actually have to. Well, it's been ten minutes. Do you just have to trigger it now by talking to him again? No, actually, let's find out. Okay. It's been at least 10 minutes at this point. I'm wondering if I need Michael to do this, is what I'm starting to think. Oh, since he's the one that did it with, uh, I think with that Ed? Michael had to actually be down here. Ah! This is ridiculous. Should we just redo this video? No! Never! Okay. There's so much good quality in here. Packed full this of... This this video is packed full of vitamins and nutrients that are necessary for a good viewing habit. Okay. You know, it's funny because I don't know if my viewers have actually, you know, heard me say that. Because generally when I ask that question, we always redo the video, so... Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah, you, you viewers don't realize it, but we actually redo a lot yeah, of videos, we do. honestly. Like, we, I, I wouldn't say half, but maybe a third or a quarter. And most of them, it's like in the first like two minutes. Like things just like go horribly wrong in the first two minutes, and we're just like, let's like, just let's just call it quits right now. Let's start over. <laughs> that was in the first yeah, thirty was. seconds. I still kept it. I had to show a helper when he got back from work. I was just like, I, let me show. That you was my, hilarious. My silliness here. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Smappy here was just cursing up a storm. No, and I, was well, like, I cursed wow. and then I cursed because I cursed, and I was like, oh, let's just start over. Uh, cursed up a storm. I mean, I like a sailor. That Smappy. I mean, actually, my she's... friend Potter curse is way worse than me, and she's a teacher, which is the joke. She doesn't curse <laughs> in school, obviously, but um, it. She doesn't yeah, have a mouth. Which she's not teaching. Okay, I don't know. I haven't done this ending in like forever and probably only did like once or twice as a kid so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here if he doesn't show up. Oh! I needed Michael! <sighs> he finally showed up. I'll take care of Sucker Face. Yeah, that went by so fast I didn't get a chance to read it all. You get the meteor. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> I am so sorry, viewers. You know how many people were probably yelling at the screen there. Ugh, I don't understand why New Kid doesn't work in this room. As soon as I go to the next room, it's probably be like, New Kid? No, I don't want to turn on. <laughs> turn on the New Kid. He's oh, a there, robot. Wendy he got right deactivated. It's like, where's Wendy? Alright. I will definitely... I, I wonder how many of my viewers actually stuck through and listened to all that. For those of you viewers who did, um, you'll, you'll, you know the secret code already. We let you know yeah, it. I was gonna say it's in the middle like of. That you need to get and uh, anyway, we'll we'll see you guys at the meetup later on this week. So we'll uh, see you in St. Louis or something. You know. <laughs> All right. So the difference here is we're gonna give instead of taking the meteor, we're going to. Give the contract to the meteor. Whoa, a lucrative publishing contract. Going to be famous. Should have done a robot voice. I don't have to be evil anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dr. Fred, release the prisoners. We're going to be rich. So bizarre. Welcome back from our break. We've been talking with the celebrity rock who gave up a life of crime for a career as a writer. So, Mr. Meteor, how does it feel to be famous instead of infamous? Well, Wink, it feels great. But I couldn't have done it alone. Yay, Wendy gets credit. Congratulations, you won the game! That is... but... that... just... okay. Okay. Um... I know y'all are gonna be unhappy with me here. But... <laughs> We still have a couple things to do. Um, we have one more ending I want to try. Give glowing key to Dave. Give card key to Dave. Give contract to Dave. Alrighty. Now we're set. Let's go. Use. Oh, crud. I don't have the old rusty key on this character. So use door with hamster, yes. Um. I can't unlock the door with this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just like imagining her there, like with this roasted hamster, shoving against the keyhole and be like, it "Doesn't fit. I don't Actually, know why." I on radio, but I bet she would have said the same thing with the the hamster. Oh, did you click on radio? Yeah, but okay. I was I was picturing her putting her hamster in the keys, the hole, and being like, "It doesn't work." <laughs> So unusual. Everything else in this house works just for like normal. Hamster works with everything else. I don't understand. The hamster unlocks <laughs> everything. That's what I use Elsa for. She she locks and unlocks my doors. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we had hamsters in our in like our some bedroom. Really my bad brother anime and I. Or something. Hamster keys. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> So we have these hamsters in our yeah. bedroom, right? So one night I'm, I'm asleep and I'm dreaming, and I distinctly remember dreaming that there were horses galloping across a field. Daria, while horses running free across the plains. Anyway, so I I'm dreaming of these horses. I'm like, man, this is like really realistic or something. Like I can like I can feel them pounding on the fields. You know, like I can feel their hooves. I wake up, and my brother's hamster is <laughs> running across my chest. <laughs> It, is, it, it escaped its cage in the middle of the night, gotten up onto my bed somehow, and was running across my chest. And I woke up in the middle of it. I was like, what? So I, I caught his hamster, but his hamster was a major escape artist. Like, it got out seemingly like once a week or so. It figured out how to like push the, the spinny wheel thing up against the edge of the cage and then brace it with like the feed or the, the cedar chip things and then... Once it locked the ca or locked the wheel up, it could then climb the wheel and then push up against the top of the cage and get out. I'm not even kidding. It did this routinely. We eventually had to, like, like zip tied down the cage top. Yeah, Elsa escaped twice, and one of them was because a certain someone didn't actually plug one of the holes. So that was a really easy escape. And I'm not entirely sure how she escaped the second time, but catching her the second time was a lot harder because. The first time I actually found her pretty quickly after she escaped, but, um... So now Wind... Drowned no, that again. was Windy, actually. Oh, drowned her. Sorry, so my bad. So, I want to see what happens if she's not around to get credit. I wonder who buries her, actually. Like, someone had to go get into the pool. Well, I guess they couldn't- they don't have to be bearing it, they just put up a tombstone very quickly. I guess there's a tombstone maker around the corner. It's 3D printed, probably. Yeah, they had a lot of 3D printing back then. They- they did in Star Trek. With the replicators. Oh wait, no, this was probably- when did this come out, well, 90? No, Star Trek was already Star Trek out easily by this point. I meant Next I know, Generation, but I was trying to remember when- Yeah. Yeah, I, I- that's what I was trying to remember. Actually, I started watching it again. I have it all on Blu-ray, high def. So it's like, what? They came out on Blu-ray? They're really pretty. In fact, I was so excited because he actually had the extended version of Measure of a Man. Um, because yeah, that's a long story. But I was really excited to watch that one, and I I wish they had, there was one scene that I wish they hadn't cut. It's like it didn't make any sense by keeping Riker's half of the scene but cutting Picard's half. And I was like, well, now that makes a lot more sense because I never understood what Riker was doing in this scene. So. So I watched the original series yeah. on Netflix, and I was like, man, I, these planets look like really good and stuff. Turns out it was like the remastered yeah. edition or something like that. And so like the planets don't look nearly as cheesy as they did in the original. Like they like they're all CGI'd up and stuff. And uh, anyway, I was just like, okay, well that explains what's going on. I was kind of glad though, actually. I love watching but, the old series and watching it for mistakes because there were so many. Like there'd be a scene where they were pulling oh, the God. phaser and then they would camera out and this phaser was suddenly in their pocket. Yeah. Oh yeah, there were so many continuity errors in those original series. It shows up much quicker this it's time because like, we're idiots. Shh. Oh well, we didn't have any banter really in this series, so now we got. For anyone who likes the banter, there you go. <laughs> we we gave you plenty of banter. All right, so now Dave should have everything he needs. I hope so, because otherwise, <laughs> I'm in trouble. You mean that glug 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 doesn't mean win? Well, Wendy would have brought everything with her in the pool, so... If not, I can dig up her grave and take her stuff. That'd be really gross. Even for a Nintendo game. Especially for a Nintendo game. Alright. 
Use... No, not read. Use card key and card slot. You have to give this game... Oops. How, this game credit for how many endings there are. Give contract to Meteor. Wow, look at your publishing contract. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be famous. Does he not have to be evil? Nope, he doesn't have to be evil anymore. He can be rich instead, although most rich people are probably evil anyway. I say most. <laughs> God doesn't even show what happens to Sandy now to think about it. Yeah. Welcome back from our break. We've been talking with the Celebrity Rock who gave up. A life of crime for a career as a writer. I still slime on the ground. So, Mr. Meteor, how does it feel? To be a famous, <laughs> or to be famous instead of infamous. To be a famous. Well, Wink, it feels great. But I couldn't have done it alone. Wait, it's all thanks did, to Sandy. Did he pick her up instead? Is he dating her now? <laughs> I never knew that, didn't he? I thought he'd say something like, Oh, I wish I had. she was here. I did not expect her to be standing there. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, well, I know there are other endings, and there's other ways to get rid of the purple tentacle. Like, if you show the writing contract instead of using Weird Ed, I think he's like, Oh, yeah, that's great. Go show it to him, and he'll let you buy. And like, if you go down in the basement, open the, do you know, attract him away from the area, and then show him the stuff, he'll let he'll he'll let you in. And um, I think there's obviously an ending if you kill all three kids. Um, I actually, I don't know how to do that. I guess you'd have to drown one. Go into the radiation I or something. I don't know how you do that. Well, let's see here. You get killed by. Uh, going and drowning in the pool, you get killed by giving Weird could Ed you, the hamster. Could you drown two of them in the pool? You could, yeah, you could drown two of them in the pool, and then you could give Weird Ed the hamster. And no, you can also, I think you can also get, I don't know if it blows up the mansion, or if you get killed by cooking the radioactive water. Um, I didn't show that, but I mean, by this point we've seen tombstones and explosions, but... Um, <laughs> and I think you can call the meteor and police in... Uh, right before giving him the contract. I don't know if that changes it much. But, uh, pretty much we've, we've seen all the major endings and ways to get past the yeah, I, I think that's enough. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I think an LP is a success when it has tombstones so, and explosions. If there's anything you guys really want to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But I think we pretty much covered everything. And, um, I guess I'll see you guys in another LP. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Bye, guys.